Kajima Lake hit its high water mark in July of 2011. Lake officials expect water levels to reach a record low, though, in the next couple of months. And despite that, and what many people don't know, is that water is being pumped out of the lake 24 hours a day, seven days a week. This is Hilton Creek, just downstream from Bradbury Dam. The water running through it is pumped out of Kachuma for these guys, the endangered southern steelhead trout. They were placed on the endangered species list in 1997, and since then their numbers have fallen dramatically, especially during the drought. Where is the best place to find them? Right there. Tim Robinson's job is to save them. He's the senior resource scientist and fisheries division manager at Kachuma. I was in the water here just last week and saw about 10 fish in here. Robinson says he actually gets in the water with goggles and counts them. The fact that there are steelhead here at all is part miracle, part mandated by law. The U.S. Bureau of Reclamation built and operates an elaborate system at Kachuma for the fish. Right there. The feds also determine how much water is released. The system starts with these two barges. One uses gravity to send water down Hilton Creek. The other uses a pump. And between the two, the flow of water to the steelhead is never supposed to stop. That's the law. Robinson's job is to keep an eye on the fish. They produce what are called smolts, which are the ones that go out to the ocean. And they'll go 49 miles down to the Pacific Ocean, grow large back there, and then come back. When we have a big year, maybe like this coming year, if the El Nino happens, we might see some big steelhead all the way from there up to here. Robinson says he has seen it work. Most creeks and rivers from Santa Maria to the Mexico border have dried up, killing off many of the places the steelhead once thrived. He says the trout here could be the last hope. And so we're hoping that these fish, with the ones that might come in on the next big winter, will help to repopulate the entire area. That's why it's important. But some people say it's a waste to let so much precious water just run downstream. Robinson points out that more water is lost to evaporation than what's released for the steelhead. Plus, he says the water isn't wasted. It replenishes groundwater and wells downstream and is used by farmers to irrigate their crops. Population trends since the 90s have been doing this. But Robinson says saving the steelhead has bigger benefits. And steelhead are they're really a great example of a healthy watershed. If you have steelhead there, then you're doing the right thing in managing your watershed. So we need, we need them there to help us learn as humans on how to take care of things. And by the way, more water will be released from Lake Kachuma starting Monday. For the next two months, about 8,000 acre feet of water will be released to help recharge groundwater in the San Ynez Valley. Cities and farms along the river will use that water, and it's expected to flow almost as far as Lompoc. And while that's going on, an environmental group has filed a lawsuit over the steelhead trout, claiming the pump that's supposed to send water to the fish doesn't always work. But